claims that she was beaten and forced to do that movie. Is it true? I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. I don't even think she believes it. Uh, there's never been any need to force or coerce anybody into doing an X-rated film. She claims that somebody forced her to do a movie, but has she ever said who it was? Chuck Trainer. Well, Chuck happened to be her husband. I mean, if she's talking about a bad marriage, there's 40 million bad marriages in the United States today. More than that, she says she was beaten during the movie and that the marks from these beatings are clearly visible in the movie. You were perhaps as close as anybody. Did you see these marks? She had an argument again with her husband and she was a little banged up. And, but um, the reason for it was she was enjoying the film too much. He got jealous that she was really enjoying uh, Harry Reams, and uh, although he didn't mind her doing the film, she wasn't supposed to enjoy it that much. That's where the argument, and it was nothing more than an argument. But Linda Lovelace claims that she was held at gunpoint for two years. If she was held at gunpoint for two years to do Deep Throat, which took six days. <sighs> I mean... I was 10 years old, I was raped by an older boy that I had a crush on like little girls do experience with the rape had already happened to me and my mother's new boyfriend from the time I was 11 until I was 15 16 mm -hmm. was coming into my room at night and molesting me and are with your mother's boyfriend and he is driving you I think to your first modeling job mm -hmm. when Michelle was 14 she was molested by an older boy afterwards she had a breakdown attempting suicide she <laughs> Now I'm going to cry. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, I like to hide my real emotions because I want everyone to see how happy I am inside, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like myself at all. You have to have had a screwed up childhood, right? No, actually... Oh, come on. Something actually, happened. My dad was a cop. And he never molested Maybe you? Maybe it's a rebellious thing. Yeah. You know? The, the, a, bunch of, a bunch of us read the book about whether the first time she had sex was in fact a rape. <clears throat> and Jenna's saying it wasn't, but in the book you do say that you passed out. Yeah. And when you woke up, the guy had had sex with you. So what but, is that? Well, it kind of depends on how you look at it. I mean, he was my boyfriend. It was date rape. You weren't actually able to consent. No, I don't even I remember see. it. So. His first interview with Howard, he asked her if she'd ever been molested or abused. This instantly brought to her mind an incident she had blocked out. I didn't realize that. Well, I hadn't really blocked it out. I just didn't want to talk about it. So you weren't thinking about it for on purpose no, yeah no. during her sophomore year of high school jenna was gang raped by a group of football players after they knocked her out with a rock in a field in montana yikes you never told us that i know right she did not tell howard about the incident mm -mm. you mean they beat you with a rock over your yeah. head they you, knocked you out you, yeah well, who are these guys did you bring them up on charges eventually no i didn't you let them get away were with they it. high school friends or well you... they weren't really friends they went to a different school i see than i did but you knew who they were. Were yeah. you the hot chick in high school? Yes. You were. And you were like everybody wanted you. Well, so in Montana, of course, I was going to be hot. So what was the what was the attitude of these football players? Hey, you're, you're a stuck-up bitch. We're going to teach you a well, lesson. You know what? I don't really know. I mean, I just asked for a ride home from the football game, and um, wow. it happened. They pulled over the side of the road? Yeah, they just started going down a dirt road, and I'm like, that's not the way to my house. And Wow. It happened. And, wow. and when they, so when this happened, you were unconscious because they. Oh beat yeah, they knocked me out cold. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Oh no, it was horrible. It was really bad. The, and did, did they drive you home afterwards, or? No, they left me out there. I woke up out in the desert, and well, it wasn't really the desert. It was like right a dirt road, and and I walked home. For, it, it was like two and a half miles home. But you I, also say at sixteen you were raped oh, while attending a yeah. bow party. So this is the was that the first time you were raped or the second time? That was, um, gosh, it's hard for me to even think about it. You were attacked by a German biker. Jeez. He's German? That's what it says here. Was he not? 
I don't know. You, or maybe you just buck. owned a German bike. It doesn't say that in the book. <laughs> you didn't talk about that in the book? Yeah, I did. But n- not that he was German. No, I made that up. You I don't like that. You get <laughs> naked? <laughs> but you lost your virginity to a rape. No. 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 no, I lost my virginity, and then, like, six months later, I was raped. Well, this is not good. No, I mean, but I, I thought it was important for me to be honest. You were on. Was Stop it violent? It. Was it a violent Jenna situation? Jameson. Not really. I fought him off, so. Oh, he didn't get you? No. Oh, so he didn't rape you? Well, no, he... He, he, he yeah, did? Yeah, but I... But then you pushed him away. Finished, yeah. Oh. I've had that happen to me a few times. <laughs> yeah, they fought you off. <laughs> they... they put- so, Ian, how is it like having a, a, a porn star girlfriend, especially uh, being 18? How is it like having a, a, a porn star girlfriend, especially uh, being 18 years old? It's, it's different. It's progressive, you know. It it's forces, progressive? Yeah, it's, you know, how many relationships are you in where you get, uh, you know, STD tests every, you know, month, you know? I mean, I can't. When I was in college, I didn't do that, you know. So she gets an STD, you get an STD test every month? Every month, every 25 days. Have you ever got an STD from a scene? Yes, I have. You have? Mm-hmm. What STD did you get from a scene? Uh, gonorrhea. How did you get uh, gonorrhea? Just from a male partner? Yeah, scene? it's going to be from somebody you work with. All right. And you're, how old are you, 31? 31. You're 31 years old. And she's 18. That's correct, yes. Anything sound weird in that to you? No, I mean, of course, you know, the age difference, you know, we knew each other as friends before, you know, I'm, I didn't know she was going to choose this before, you know, but, you know, we built a strong relationship as friends, you mm-hmm. know, and... How does your family feel about you being with an 18-year-old porn star? They're fine, you know, I mean, as long as you're not hurting anybody... As so long your family's as... okay with this? Yeah. Your mother is okay with this? Yeah, my mother's a very progressive woman, I mean... My mother's was... progressive too, but if I was a porn star, she wouldn't be so happy with that. Yeah. Everyone's different, everyone has their different opinions. Most definitely. Sasha's manager, Mark Spiegler, is with us in the audience. Did I say that right, Spiegler? Yes, sir. And I don't have a lot of creative control, and when I do... I milk it and I, you know, I, and I get in there and I try to mix it up and do things a little bit different. People want to keep seeing you, but eventually there's going to be a time where you get burned out and you're going to be so tired and so stressed out that you're not going to be able to work. They squeeze you up like a piece of fruit, drain all the juice out of you, and then they're done. My first contract girl we ever had 15 years ago, 94, was uh, Chasey Lane. Oh, oh my God, I love whatever it does. I, I'm not sure. Get your shit, get the yeah. fuck out, cut. What do you fucking? Fuck it, crack whore. Take your meth out of my studio. You've quoted a figure that, at least one study, two-thirds yeah. may have been sexually abused as children. Two-thirds, and that's a conservative estimate. Some of the estimates are, uh, some of the studies are, are actually substantially higher, 90 uh, percent. But... It's uh, at least two thirds come out of out of uh, that kind of abusive setting, and very often these are addictions. Uh, you have a, a tremendous proportion of women who are selling sex, uh, are uh, abusing drugs, and are financing that addiction uh, through through selling sex. To the people watching who say that to decide to sell your body for sex is inherently a choice deserving of contempt or scorn. I'd like the viewer to conceive of themselves as a uh, 13-year-old girl who's been abused by her stepdad, say. Her mother doesn't want to hear about it. I don't think that one can describe that as a, um, you know, as a, as a reason choice in any way. We want to believe that there's kind of bad girls and then there's good girl, right? And so we make those distinctions about who's, you know, really a victim and who's not. Um, you know, I, I think we've bought into, again, the belief that men have needs and that this is the oldest profession. I mean, child abuse has been around since the beginning of time, right? But we don't kind of make that justification just because it's been around a long time. Mm-hmm.